just woke up drinking my, I drink decaf, so it's not really coffee, but it tastes like it. I figured I would answer this question because I had a lot of comments on this particular video talking about reincarnation, what happens after you die, spirit guides and that nature. And a lot of people um, privately and then in the comments also asked things of this nature, how to find out if somebody is stuck in purgatory. So in, in response to, to um, this particular comment, she had given an account that her dad had kind of mentioned um, about a month prior that he just didn't feel like he was going to be there that long. A lot of times when you actually look back, and this is why it, it's, it's really quite interesting if you look at like the nuances of life, is a lot of times there'll be small little breadcrumbs that don't seem like anything at the time. And I, there's this Jobs, I think it's Steve Jobs. I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, whatever. But it's like you can only connect the dots by looking backwards. And a lot of times somebody, even if they die suddenly, um, I think her explanation was her dad passed like in his sleep and it was kind of out of the blue. Um, a lot of times like the body starts readying itself. Again, this is not always. However, there'll be these small things like, oh, I just don't feel like I'm going to be here too long. Or some people, even when they're young, they just, they can't imagine themselves getting older. So it, when people often confuse that they have spirit guides or they feel like there's somebody in their house for somebody being in purgatory, purgatory, excuse me, is like, um, I mean, when, I mean, bad, th these are like, I know these shows kind of seem really off to a lot of people, but like the like ghost hunter type shows where um, it, it literally feels tormented. Most people are not in purgatory. Most people, even if their death was, again, by like a, by the hand of someone else, <laughs> or if they chose to leave, um, people are worried that their soul will be stuck in, in purgatory or their consciousness or whatever. That's not necessarily the case. If they have learned what they needed to learn, often a experience um, will arise to be able to facilitate that passing. And I actually have, I, I know several people um, that their guides, even though it was a very untimely, unfortunate, unplanned passing, their guides were actually more helpful from the spirit side, from the connected to the universal consciousness than in the physical form. So if you ever feel like they're there, they're, they're there. That doesn't mean that they're in purgatory. They could be stepping in as a spirit guide or just letting you know that they're trying to comfort you and letting you know that they're there.